What's good with y'all YouTube? This is Heavy back with another video. And I was in the middle of trying to bring y'all this video today that I'm working on, okay? It's gonna be a pretty long video. And I ran across a news clip. It's from Fox News. I don't believe anything Fox News says. Y'all already know I don't believe anything mainstream news networks say. Okay, but the title of this clip was China has a bloodlust and wants to use its new weapons. China has a bloodlust and wants to use its new weapons. <laughs> like it's the funniest shit in the world like bro when this december 21st shit happened they're going to try to blame china now in my video december 21st video i threw out china i said they would try to blame china but i didn't actually think that i just named the country off the top of my head like we don't know that china is like 10 years ahead of us technology weapons like bro china is just they're more advanced than us all right so i just threw that country out so i because i felt like that's who they would blame but like dog they're already setting it up right now to make us believe that shit when that shit happened, bro. They're setting it up right now. This clip came out September 7th. All right, so here we go. Here we go to clip. <laughs> the Pentagon warning in a new report that China now has the world's largest Navy and that it's not just improving in size, but also in quality. How much of a threat is this to the United States? Let's ask Gordon Chang, the author of The Coming Collapse of China, uh, Gordon, uh, China seems to be developing the ability to project power all around the world. Now, it, it says, hey, the United States can do that. We should be able to do that, too. Do you see it that way? Well, I don't, John, because, you know, the United States defends the current international system. China is trying to overthrow it. China is trying to close off the global commons. We try to keep it open for everybody. And China is trying to dismember its neighbors from uh, India to Japan. So it's disrupting peace and stability in the region. We're trying to maintain it. It's a very, very different uh, objectives that we have. And they have in China this worldview that suggests that they believe that they are kind of the only legitimate um, world power. Is that right? Yeah, Xi Jinping has been talking increasingly about this Tianxia notion, the notion that China has the mandate of heaven to rule the entire world. They not only have the right to do it, they have the obligation to do it. He's become very specific about this in public, and so have his officials, which means they are trying to change the international system, not to compete within it. But the title of your book is The Coming Collapse of China. How, how can that be uh, if, in fact, they are building up their military to such levels? Yeah, in 2001, I thought it would take 10 years um, for the Communist Party to fall, so I'm obviously wrong. But the 2008 global downturn intervened. But what we're seeing right now, John, is a very worrying uh, mentality in China. I think they're starting to see a closing window of opportunity because of the problems in the economy, in the environment, demography, you name it. And so um, I think China it believes it needs to move fast. And that means we are going to see problems not in the 2030s, but we're going to see problems now. And many Chinese military leader, leaders, you say, are restive for war. Yes, well, they're obviously got a bloodlust. We saw this on the night of June 15th, where in a premeditated move, they killed 20 Indian soldiers. An Indian soldier died last week. Um, you know, we see very provocative, very belligerent moves around China's periphery. So clearly, China's uh, general officers, their admirals and their generals, they want to use their new weapons, and they believe they have a right to do that. When the president talks about decoupling from China, good idea? Absolutely a good idea. You know, China is configuring its military to kill Americans. We should not be enriching a hostile Chinese regime with our trade and with our investment. So I, I believe that decoupling is what we absolutely have to do, especially this year. We saw China try to threaten to cut off pharmaceuticals and medical protective gear to the United States if we didn't behave. Gordon Chang. Gordon, thank you.